Hello, guess what I'm playing with? I'm playing with glow-in-the-dark Play-Doh that I made in my own kitchen. And look how much it makes. This is pretty cool. Some of the ingredients that you might not have in your house are in our take and make kits this month. What are you gonna do? Guess what? I will show you how to make it and then we'll be right back. So from your house, you'll need one cup of flour, a half a cup of salt, two tablespoons of cream of tartar, and that's in the kit, a tablespoon of oil. I like baby oil, but you can use vegetable oil or olive oil or any oil that you want. I like the smell of baby oil. Now that you've added those ingredients, you need to mix everything up for one minute. The mixture will look like a lumpy powder. And then, boom, 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 you're gonna need a grown up because it uses a cup of boiling water. This takes the most amount of time, waiting for the batter to cool down so you can actually touch it. And then you also need two tablespoons, actually a little less than two tablespoons, of glow-in-the-dark paint. And that is also included in our kits. Now you're going to blend all of the dough together until the color is completely mixed in. Now you can see how sticky this is by how much it's sticking to my fingers. And that's because I added too much paint. My next batch turned out much better. Did you see how easy it was to make that in the mixer? You can also make it by hand, and I would only suggest that if you've got somebody else to trade off mixing it with. So in the beginning, when you stir it up, you would just need a heavy duty stirring spoon, and you can do the whole thing in just a bowl with no mixer. Whichever way you choose to mix your glow dough, whether you use a stand mixer like I did, or if you wanna mix it by hand, having the kids trade off, stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring, the whole process takes about eight minutes, and a good deal of that time is waiting for the bowl of dough to cool enough to be able to add the paint. So I hope you enjoy making your own Play-Doh or Glow Dough at home, and um, I would love to hear how you like it. I tried multiple ways to get this dough to glow up. I left it in front of a window, but we didn't have enough sunshine to actually change the color. So I waited until dark, and then I put a very bright light directly on top of the Play-Doh, and then left it there for a few minutes. When I took it off, then I could see there was actually a glow in the dough. So I hope you have fun playing with your homemade Play-Doh, and let's hope for some sunny days so we can really glow it up. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.